Kawasaki TRX4 and we're going to show you how to install the new design cab enclosure. Um, when you get your enclosure, you'll have three pieces. You'll have your back window and then you'll have um, two side panels. And so you'll start by installing the back window. On the back window we have, it's called a J-clip and, and it'll be sewn in the top in three sections. You'll have your two sides and then your center and uh, what the J-clip does is it snaps down over the lip of your roof and you'll have to push real hard on it to get it to snap down over but you'll start in the center and push down get it to snap in place and then your two sides get them to snap in place and then you'll just bring the enclosure on down and tuck it in behind the back seats and there's some velcro back there you can install a self-adhesive velcro on the inside of your bed and push it if you need if you want to that's kind of optional um, everything kind of holds in place even without that but you can do it if you'd like so then what you'll do is we have this one installed just to make it quicker but you'll install velcro pieces down your roll cage you can see how we already have these installed and we'll give you the self-adhesive Velcro. And it just goes right down along these sides of the mold, of the uh, welds here. Just in a few spots, wherever you feel like putting it. I kind of put it in between these straps. And we'll give you a, it's called an adhesive promoter. And what you'll do is you'll clean this with alcohol. Make sure there's no oily content on it. Then you'll just take a thin layer of the adhesive promoter, wherever you're going to put it. And just put it on with your finger. It's clear. Let it dry for about 30 seconds or a minute, and then you're ready to install your adhesive. So you'll install your adhesive in the areas where you want it. And then you'll take your cover, and you'll just put it in place and center it on your window on, the, on each side. Pulling down and pulling to the side as you go. And you'll see these straps. You'll, you'll have one, one piece on the inside and one piece on the outside of these straps. And then these straps will wrap around just for extra security to make it nice and tight. You wrap around and hook those. And what we do when we wrap these is we take a small piece of the self-adhesive Velcro and put it everywhere there's a strap. Put it right on the inside of the roll cage. So when you strap it, you put it right on the inside. You will bring this one up and attach it. And then wrap this one around and attach it. Keeps it from sliding on the roll cage. That way there's no slides. And you'll do that at every strap. Tucking this down in and your last strap will be right there. So that's the installation of the back window. In the front, what you'll do is this slip will be zipped on to your, your side panel. This slip right here. And it has the same wraps. It wraps around the roll cage and also has the Velcro in between just like your back window. And so you'll unzip this and you'll start up at the front. Now this, this machine in particular has a moose windshield on it. Um, you'll have to loosen the windshield up to, to get this to just a little bit to be able to slide your straps in like this. And you'll do the same thing. You'll see, you'll just center it on your windshield. You'll see how it, how it should fit and just install yourself adhesive velcro along here we didn't for speed purposes but you'll have self adhesive velcro and then you'll just wrap your your wraps around it and once you get to the top what you're going to want to do is come to the back then and pull the back real tight and, and, and do this back one so you'll have your front strapped and then you'll pull back for the back and as you go I don't have a step ladder and I'm short but as you go, you'll tuck this up underneath your, your roof to seal off that gap. And again, it has all the straps. And you can do the self-adhesive Velcro and the straps. We didn't do, that's optional. You don't have to put it everywhere. Um, but you do want to put it at every strap to keep the straps. If you don't, like on this one, for an example, we didn't put that little piece that we talked about over here. And see, it allows this to spin. So you always want to take a small piece of self-adhesive Velcro right there where our strap goes wrap it around and see now we can't pull that 
So that's very important. And, that, and then it'll stay tucked under your roof to seal that, that off. So then once you get your back done, you'll go and you'll do every strap in between to keep it snugged up to the roll cage. Once that's done, you'll take the rest of your side window and it'll start zipping right here. And you'll just zip it up in your place. It zips into place and then you'll take it and you'll just pull and it'll wrap around and it actually velcros right to the back of your panel. Hold everything nice and tight and snugs it right in. You can just tuck it right in between the bed. And there's your back panel. Nice, nice tight seal there. As tight as you, you would want it. Now you're ready to install. This is going to come with three options. It's going to come with the option of the self-adhesive Velcro that we're using on this one. It'll also come with the option of a self-adhesive snap, and there'll be snaps in the enclosure. You can att attach the snap to the machine, and it'll snap into, into places. Or it can come with a pop rivet snap, where you'll, you'll drill a hole and install the pop rivet snap, and, and it snaps into place. This one we chose just to do self-adhesive Velcro. So again, the same thing. You'll see where you'd want to install your Velcro, and you'll use you'll clean it with the alcohol, make sure it's nice and clean. Use our adhesive promoter, rub a little on the areas, let it dry for about 30 seconds, and install yourself adhesive Velcro. Once that's installed, or the snaps if you so choose to go with the snaps, once that's installed, just put it all in place, and you're ready to go. Get in and out. It's nice and easy. Just unzip. Your door can actually open the whole way without undoing any anything, and you can get in. And the 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 rear door works the same. Then we also have a real neat fe feature: is if you're in the machine and you need a little air, you're all zipped up, and you need a little air or anything. a zipper that can just fold down and let some breeze in for you or if you need to reach out and get the mail and don't want to undo everything and open your door you can just undo it that way to get back out just unzip your zipper reach out you can also roll these back if it gets warm and tuck them, tuck them back in to go to travel. But the easiest thing is if you're out and it's cold and you're all zipped up, and let's say it warms up, and you decide you don't need your enclosure anymore, just fill off this back velcro. Unzip this zipper. Take your enclosure. We send it in a little storage bag, so you'll be able to just roll up your windows and stick them in a storage bag, and you're good to go. We we suggest that you always keep your storage bag with you somewhere, so if you're out and it starts raining, you can hurry up and within a minute have both your doors zipped on and you're good to go. So again, this is our enclosure for the for the uh, Kawasaki TRX4. This also covers auto, other models such as the. Uh, the Kawasaki Mule Pro FXT. Uh, the only difference is on the Pro FXT, it has little holes cut back here for the arms to go through as you're installing your, your back window. So again, this is our enclosure from Side-by-Side -side Enclosures for the Kawasaki TRX4. Thank you very much. Please visit our website, www.sidebysideenclosures.com. Side Have a good day.